officers, sailors as well. Let's begin with you. Chris, a very exciting day ahead for these uh, sailors and Marines aboard the USS John C. Stennis. They've been at sea for more than six months. Uh, and some good news for their families. If you take a look at our shot from uh, Point Loma, they can now see the aircraft carrier at least coming into view. We're starting to slip through the fog there, and, and probably in an hour and a half or so, we'll be pulling up to uh, Juliet Pier. I wanted to introduce you to one of the people that I met aboard the Stennis when we were on in mid-December. Uh, his name is Alfred McGuire. If I can show you some tape of Alfred during a special a happy birthday luncheon that was taking place once a month on board this ship for everyone who's having a birthday during a particular month. They have a special sort of a dinner. And we met a guy on this ship back in December named Alfred McGuire. He was having not only a birthday, but also celebrating his wedding anniversary uh, at, the at the very same month. And it was uh, a difficult period for him. Here's what uh, that day was like for Alfred McGuire back in December. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Is it still special to celebrate it with your shipmates in this way? You know, it really is, especially uh, Chief Sealer, the way he sang happy birthday. I got pretty emotional and uh, I almost brought tears to my eyes. He sang it very well. And um, being out here with the family that I have here, you know, makes it special. But. You know, I do miss my wife and my kids at home. When we met Alfred, he was, uh, I was really taken with him, uh, the fact that he's this big guy and he was so emotional the fact that we've been able to find Alfred again today. And Alfred, it's nice to see you again, first of all. And uh, I want to let you know that our, uh, our reporter, Thelma Gutierrez, has your wife uh, on shore there. I'll be able to, you'll be able to see her and your three kids, Alexis, Alette, and Alfred Jr. in a second. But wife Brenda is there with Thelma. Hold on a second, and Thelma, come on in. Hi there. Good morning, Frank, and good morning, Alfred. I have with me Brenda. Now, she had mentioned to me that she missed your birthday. She missed your anniversary. anniversary. She's here with me right now. Brenda, what do you want to say to Alfred? Go ahead. Honey, I love you. I miss you. I've been waiting for this day and wanted to get off the ship, hold me, and get back to normal. Now, the last time that Alfred saw your youngest, Anthony, he was only a year and a half old. Yes. Anthony, I should say, Alfred, can now walk, he can talk, and according to your wife, he has run at the house. She says he's no longer a baby, and then you have a, uh, a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Very cute kids, indeed. Yes. Brenda, what do you want to say? Well, honey, this is your son. As you can see, his hair is a little bit longer than when you left. Um, Alette is also very active, very full grown, and Alexis uh, misses you. She counts down the days, and today she woke up and she said, Mommy, no more days. Daddy's finally home. Say hi to Daddy. Daddy. And let's let's let Alfred say something uh, as well. Go, Alfred. Anything you want to say to Brenda and the kids? Uh, yes, there is. Um, baby, I love you. I miss you. Uh, it's been a long cruise. You know, th there's one thing that I do want to say though is that we deployed two months early, and we miss Christmas, we miss Thanksgiving, birthdays, and anniversaries. But you have to understand that there are uh, thousands of people in New York that will never have the opportunity to say I love you, say Merry Christmas, or say Happy Anniversary to their loved ones because of September 11th. And although my family and I will have next year, there are thousands that will not. And I just want you to know that September 11th will never be forgotten. The towers will never be forgotten. And New York will never be forgotten. And we did this for you. And we did this because our job is to defend our country. And that is what we're called upon. And if I could do it again, I'd leave tomorrow. And even though I'd miss my family, but we need to bring justice to those that, that caused September 11th. And I hope and pray that someday your families can rest in peace. Well said, Alfred. Your, your family has missed you greatly. You were just telling me that uh, your two daughters, of course, uh, they have a birthday on the very same day. And, uh, and Alfred Jr. just turned two on Sunday. Uh, you're going to have a nice celebration? 
Yes, I am. I'm looking forward to it. Baby, I miss you. I love you. We'll be home soon. Uh, I'm looking forward to my son's birthday this weekend. I'm going to get to see my parents uh, for the first time in about eight or nine months. And I, I just can't wait to get home. I love you and I miss all of you. Brenda, anything Brenda, you any want to say back? Tonight? Baby, I love you and just get off this ship as fast as you can. Do you have big plans for tonight? Tonight we're probably just going to dinner. Um, next week we're going to vacation to just spend some quality time together. But tonight it's going to be dinner and probably rent some movies and just get him reacquainted with the kids again. Right. And get him his to-do list. <laughs> All right, Brenda, thank <laughs> you thank so you. much. Well, Frank, many more reunions to come. The USS Venice, of course, comes in about 9.30, 9 o'clock. So uh, we have a lot more of this to come. Back to you. Thank you so much, Thelma. Thank Thanks. you so much, Frank. Thank you. We really appreciate you bringing us this very emotional reunion, including those powerful comments from Alfred. We appreciate that to both Frank and Thelma. We will be following this all throughout. As you might imagine, the uh, USS Dennis is scheduled to uh, arrive, dock at 12 noon. That's Eastern Time, 9 a.m. out there on the West Coast. Very emotional and happy situation. And we appreciate that pre-homecoming reunion of sorts from both Frank and Thelma. Also, don't forget to tune in this weekend when Frank Butley spent a lot of time on board that ship. He knows a lot about it. He present, he hosts a special report on the Stennis called Carrier at War. That's Saturday evening at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, and again on Sunday at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. So make sure you check that out. And still ahead, all the tragedies amid that Oklahoma bridge collapse. There are stories of triumph as well. We will meet a man who started out